What is going on guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another daily video. How's everybody's E3 Friday going? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I am just waiting for all that E3 goodness to shower down upon us. We did get a leak today about Assassin's Creed Origins from Game Informer. Uh, the issue leaked early. Makes the game sound really cool. Sounds like it's also going to be really awesome on Scorpio 4K30. And worked in like 30 or like two weeks when they ported it but that video the video's not going to be about that uh i didn't want to talk about that i want to see the game on stage first before talking about it but this video is going to be about the 10 games that i want to see most at e3 my most anticipated the ones that get me most excited uh the ones that if i see all 10 of these it's going to be an amazing e3 regardless of if it's xbox or playstation and we have xbox and playstation games in here and you'll notice there are no nintendo games in this list well because as you guys know i don't care about nintendo games and that's just the way it is so i'm gonna start off 10 and work my way up to one number 10 being a game i love to hate and that's destiny 2 the reason it's on the list it's because I want to see what they're doing with that game. Bungie was one of my favorite all-time developers. They made some of my favorite games. And it was so painful to watch them fall flat on their faces with Destiny 1. Yes, it has some of the best first-person shooter gameplay in the industry. But all the stuff surrounding that game was just absolutely terrible in my opinion. Toxic to a certain degree. Made me hate the game. So I want to see them improve upon it. Maybe there's going to actually be a story. Some actually good characters. Things like that. That's why I want to see. I want to see an improvement of Destiny 2. So that's why it's number 10. Uh, number 9. We are going to have Project Dylan. Project Dylan will be shown off at Microsoft stage. It's skipping E3, uh, EA stage, which I've said for weeks now. I love Bioware. I love all of Bioware's games. So I am incredibly excited to see what real Bioware, Bioware Edmonton, has been working on these past few years. Bioware Montreal made the recently released Mass Effect Andromeda, which wasn't any good by most accounts. But Project Dylan, by actual Bioware, how awesome is that going to be? Next up, we are going to have Spider-Man, which is an exclusive game on the PS4. I am really a big fan of Insomniac's games. Uh, I think they're excellent developers. Sunset Overdrive was an amazing game. And I have played a ton, a ton, an absolute metric ton of the Spider-Man games. So it seems like a perfect marriage. Uh, the trailer they showed last year, which featured some gameplay, uh, seemed like... Seem like the game is going to be absolutely fantastic. And now that I have my PS4, I can enjoy that game and not worry about it coming to Xbox. Oh man, it's pretty it's pretty great to be uh, a, monsel, a multi-console owner. Spider-Man uh, is going to be my 8th most anticipated game. Uh, my 7th most anticipated game is going to be God of War. Uh, we saw the trailer last year. God of War looks fantastic. I played God of War 1. I played God of War 2. They're both excellent games. Excellent, excellent games. I'm going to replay God of War 3 really soon because uh, I've never played that game before. But man, that new God of War looks stunning. Another Sony exclusive that I am so interested in trying out. Uh, God, I mean, just just we watching the conference yesterday and seeing that gameplay just it that game's going to be utterly fantastic. Uh so number 6, we are going to have Crackdown 3. Uh obviously Xbox is my system for multi-platform games and pretty much everything and is the system all my friends are on and Crackdown 3 is going to be a syst a game that I probably play in co-op with my friends all the time. Well, not maybe all the time, but especially when it comes out like I have a good feeling about Crackdown 3. I've heard it's amazing from people who've played it. Uh, I have really high hopes for it. Uh, the single player, uh, the multiplayer, the co-op and stuff. I, I, I really like get, getting the orbs and doing this all the super, super awesome like, like superhero stuff. I, I can't wait for this game to be shown off and to truly see what it is because that's one of the other things that leads to this, to this is like nobody really knows what Crackdown is. It's been shrouded in mystery. We've seen one CGI trailer and like a behind-the-scenes video. So it's going to get its coming-out party. It's going to come out this year. 
And I am really looking forward to seeing what the devs of Crackdown have in store for us. So that's like the, what is that, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're in the top 5. And Last of Us 2 would be my 5th. Now I know I, I said in my my prediction video for Sony I didn't think it would sh- you know they'd show it there but maybe it'd be behind the, the scenes but man if they show off some Last of Us too because I have I've planned on finishing Last of Us by the time Monday rolls around and I do incredibly like the game so I can only imagine how good the game was four years ago that the game Last of Us Two a sequel on it is probably going to be fantastic so I would love to see more information about last of us 2 and i'm really happy i stayed unspoiled on last of us 1 because i don't know anything about the game and that's the kind of way i I wanted i don't know anything about most of the uh playstation exclusives so i'm going into it like a newborn baby i don't know anything and it's kind of it's kind of fun like that so now we're going to get into number four and we have final fantasy 7 remake Final Fantasy VII meant a lot to me when I was growing up. I have played that game five times fully. It is one of my most favorite games of all time. So yeah, I did get goosebumps when Sony showed this off, what is it now, two years ago? I am a huge, huge fan of Final Fantasy VII. I'm not really that much into RPGs anymore, uh, but Final Fantasy VII holds that place in my heart. You know, as they say, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Well... I have nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII, and to finally have seen it be brought back into like modern day graphics and things like that, I'm cool with the gameplay changes and whatever they decide. I will be there day one for that game, because Final Fantasy means a lot to me, and that would be my fourth one. So going into the top three, you may be probably thinking, I wonder where Red's going with this. He's already used Final Fantasy and God of War and Crackdown and 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 and, and games like that. Well, top three. We have Splinter Cell at number three. Uh, I am a huge Splinter Cell fan. I love all their games, eh, aside from maybe Conviction, which I didn't think was very good. But I've been yearning for another Splinter Cell. The last one, Blacklist, was a phenomenal game. Up there with me with uh, Chaos Theory. You know, uh, I think this game is going to be showing off at Ubisoft. I cannot wait until it's revealed. To see what the single player is, if Michael Ironside is back, if all the rumors that we've heard throughout you know last couple years end up being true, I want this game to be a reality. And if it does happen, Ubisoft's press briefing, I am going to smile like a big idiot because I love Splinter Cell and it would be great to have that franchise back. So that's my third one. And now we get down to the top two, and my second one is Halo Six. Yeah, I know. I know I didn't even have it in my Xbox predictions, and they said it's not going to be there, but that still doesn't mean that I don't want to see it. I want to see Halo 6, and why do I want to see Halo 6? Because Halo is my all-time favorite franchise. I adore Halo. It's Halo is the reason I moved from PlayStation to Xbox originally. I ad- love Halo. I spent... A whole year of my life playing Halo 2 online. Halo means a lot to me in the same way that Final Fantasy 7 means a lot to me. I thought thought Halo 5, uh, the campaign was so-so. Better than Halo 4's campaign, but I thought the multiplayer was so good in Halo 5. It's the best best multiplayer it's been since Halo 2. So I can't wait to see 343 continue on with that. That multiplayer, because I thought it was fantastic. And then laser focus the story on Master Chief, which is what they've said they're doing. Give me that great Master Chief story that I want. And I don't want it to be burdened by you know, like different characters. I'm going to say superfluous, but I can't even speak right now. There's no need for other characters besides just Master Chief. Give me that story. And now you're all probably thinking, wow. What could he possibly choose next? What game could it possibly be? We've talked about Destiny 2, Project Dylan, Splinter Cell, God of War, Crackdown 3, Spider-Man, Last of Us 2, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and Halo 6. What could be my number one most anticipated game? The game that I would die to see at E3. The game that I would be like, alright, they won because this game is amazing. And that's none other than Ori and the Blind Forest 2. Now, some of you are probably shocked. Some of you probably aren't. 
But Ori in the Blind Forest is my favorite game of this entire generation. I think it's almost as close to gaming perfection as you can get. I honestly truly love that game. And I know I didn't put this in my Microsoft predictions, uh, but I have a good feeling, a really good feeling, some would say a premonition, that we will see Ori 2 on Sunday, and if so, oh my god, I'm going to lose it. Ori, Ori is, like I said, my favorite game this gen, so to see a sequel to that game would mean a lot to me. I could basically not even care what else Microsoft even shows. I'd be like, I'm fine. Ori 2 is coming and that's all I need. God. Just thinking about seeing Ori in the Blind Forest 2 just makes me makes me happy. And that's my list, guys. My top 10 games most anticipated, most excited for. Need to see at E3. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what your most top 10 games you want to see at E3 are. If you liked the video... Hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see everybody later.